Hi, Sophia. Could you sit on Daddy's lap and just look at me? Okay. The first thing I have to do is I have to show you what we're going to do, okay? You see my hands? I always wear gloves, so I'm going to put on my gloves. What color is that? It's pretty, isn't it? Want to feel them? They feel funny. They make my hands feel like balloons. And I put it on both hands. Isn't that funny? And I wear glasses. Now these are funny looking glasses, aren't they? Want to touch them? And that lets me see really good. And then I wear this. Do you know what that is? It's a peekaboo mask, see? Peekaboo. And I just put that on like that. And what I'm going to do with my gloves, I'm going to look at your fingers, I'm going to look at your ears, and your eyes, and your nose, and then you and me are going to look at your teeth. Can you show me your teeth? They're really, really pretty teeth, aren't they? But now I'm going to show you, we're going to have you sit on dad's lap. Do you know what a ham is? You hold that. Do you know what that is? Is it a little tiny mirror? And that's what I use to look at your teeth. But we're going to let you, we're going to do this so that daddy can see at the same time I can. So I'm going to move my knees a little closer to daddy. He's going to pick you up and turn you around to give you a hug. Good girl. And now you're going to lie down and you're going to hold Daddy's hands, okay? And you look at Daddy the whole time. Look at me. Good. Put your head back. And you're on TV now. Did you know that? <laughs> See this? And that lets me look at your teeth. And I just look around there and I'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now what you should see from a dentist's point of view is I have her hand, head in my hands and I always pick up the lip. I have to pick up the lip, otherwise I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm looking all around there. Let's count your bottom ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we look for anything imperfect. This is really boring because her teeth look really perfect. <laughs> but we always have something to talk about. And we just look around like that. Now your mommy told you about this. We're gonna show you how to paint your teeth. And this is a little paintbrush. See that? And just stir it up. And we just paint it. And do the same thing on the bottom. And just paint. Now give Daddy a hug. And now, could you get the other provider? Now, what I do now is I'll talk to the parents about what we saw. And what did we see? We saw absolutely no decay. We saw spaces between the back teeth, so I don't have to worry about any sort of x-rays, which she's too young for anyway, but we don't have to worry about that. What I did see that is for a future concern is baby teeth are meant to have spaces between the bottom baby teeth. And when there are no spaces between the baby bottom baby teeth and you have a full mouth baby teeth, you can anticipate some degree of crowding. How much is a long way away from being said, but right now she looks great, but as far as future goes, just keep her looking this way. We might take x-rays when the back teeth come together a little bit more, and that you can expect some degree of crowding down there, but I definitely nothing to worry about. She has got beautiful, beautiful teeth. She's a nice girl. Now, can you let another friend look at your teeth like that? Don't worry, she won't paint them anymore. Can she look at them? When I do this, I'm usually asking the parents to straddle the legs and pulling the child back as I quickly undo my varnish, hold it in my left hand, and look in at those teeth. Okay. And, and um, I, I can't say that I do it as, as, you know, I have never used a mirror, and I'm always in, interested in using every bit of varnish that I can out of that little. So it's interesting, it's interesting to watch, watch him because I feel like parents are paying for this so they're gonna get their money worth. <laughs> um, and I, <laughs> And, and I was reading in the um, information we had about four minutes versus one minute application um, and four minutes being preferred in one of the Cochrane reviews or right. I was going through all of those. Um, the, uh, the gels and the foams that we used to use were based on that technology. And so they came out, at first they found that four minutes was the right length to leave flow, foams and gels on you. Go ahead and stick that in and see how much more you can see. Um, and so they found that some Good products job. were marketed as minute gels, they were made slightly more acidic and so they thought they would penetrate a little bit better, but they really didn't do what they said that they were going to do. 
So, four minutes really is the gold standard. But if you're using fluoride varnish, you paint it on, you don't have to worry about that because it's gonna stay on for four to six hours. If you paint varnish on someone's teeth within six hours of their bedtime, we recommend that they don't brush their teeth before bed. But you don't have to worry about using it all up. You just have to worry about painting the outside and the inside surfaces, that's all. Because a thin coat is all you need, and they do, the, pro the product insert actually recommends a quarter of a milliliter, and that, that pool is one milliliter. They actually recommend a quarter of a millimeter, milliliter for primary teeth. So don't worry about using all of it, as long as you feel like you've touched everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I had one experience where the mother had brought in a little package of Oreos, and the child was actively eating them while I was talking with her. And so, of course, I opened the mouth, and there's the Oreo right there on the teeth, but I just painted away because I didn't know what else to do. Um, <laughs> well, it still works. Yeah. <laughs> So I've, I've had a lot of fun with varnish in my office. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> what we can also do from that is, again, in our office, not where you guys are, I don't expect you to do this, is, but as long as you're in laps, sort of, whether it's dad's or mom's or mine, this is a good time to transition into positioning for toothbrushing instruction and stuff like that. That's how it kind of flows in our office, is that you take them and you can turn them around. The way we position kids to brush their teeth is always sitting on your lap, facing away, you just cradle their head against your shoulder, your chest, whatever. You use your hand under their chin and you scrub away. If you think about dentists, we all work from behind now. You know, we don't stand up and look in. We sit from behind and look down. And so that's the best way to brush their teeth, too. Is there any questions about that? Pretty straightforward, huh? Hey, anybody else want to try? <laughs> I think she's done enough. <laughs> Thank you.